Hey guys, this is Type Force Games, and I'm back to your reaction to Eleven Little Roosters, Episode 1, Spy Games. And so, last time, Ryan was the only survivor among the ten people there, and Barbara was the killer. Barb, dang it, Barbara, but, <laughs> but yeah, um, let's just, uh, jump right in and, well, you know, see how this turns out, because I'm honestly really curious, because it looks like Ryan's going to become a spy. <laughs> Hello? Participate in the interactive portion of our program. Simply follow the link after the video or in the description below. Now enjoy the premiere of the Eleven Little Roosters. Okay. Paramilitary compound, Croatia. Okay. Found to 200 meters inside the perimeter, sir. What does our guest have to say for themselves? I'm just sorry. <laughs> sorry. 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 Oh. Why did it leave a Canadian? <laughs> Simple right that Oh my goodness, it's Barbara. Canada. <laughs> or, you know, whatever her character is called in this, you never know. Sorry. It's a grenade. Odd job? Agent Moose. Running your assassination today. If there's anything I could do to make you more comfortable. Jack the Red? What? The crap? The Eleven Little Roosters. Hopefully there's another poem. <laughs> Dang it, of course it's James Bond here. Hello, British, British son. You did, Mikey. You can't damn right I did. Blame your shit on me. Hope you get ear cancer. This is me sending you ear cancer right now. Michael, stop. HQ has reported some problems with their orders getting through. I'll look into it for you, old boy. An emergency session. Whatever could it be? I have to go, Anna Please reinstate me. I want to let the Queen down. 
Let me prove myself again. Alright. Sexy devil. <clears throat> Starting to feel my John Thomas again. Hello, John Tyler Thomas. Good to see you. Welcome to the Rooster Corps. Okay. The world's premier alliance of international espionage. Eleven agencies allied together in the pursuit of world peace. And now, a This emergency meeting of the Little Roosters will now come to order. Assassin roll call! Okay. Gavin the third. MI6. Okay, Gavin the third. <laughs> oh, the third. And Agent Gibson of the CIA. Alright. Okay. La Luna Loco, Sorola, and their boss, Madame Mario, Asasinos Mexicano Espiro. What on earth? Marfi, Marfi, French Association of Professionals. I'm contractually obligated to announce that the Little Records presents Coco, mm. Wilhelm und Bass, the best sex for Shackle Boy! Bernardo Bernabici. <laughs> Bernardo Bernabici. Christoph Weiss, Swedish security service. And if it isn't Agent Luce, Canadian assassin. Okay. Assassin killer. I saw you at Khan. Will you sign this vinyl you kill the family? We only sign our digital albums. This is not digital? We'd sign anything for you, Jinx. We'd make many exceptions. We'd sign our parties for you. We'd sign anything. Oh. <laughs> Who's going to sell this on eBay? We are now, as always, pleased to receive the big cock. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, Matt. <laughs> Yeah. We, yeah, I know. Oh my goodness. Hey Jeff. <laughs> Wait one little second. Did your eye patch just switch sides? <laughs> no, it's on both eyes. Uh, I don't even agree with this, but I'm pretty sure we have two eye patches now. <laughs> <laughs> now he's wearing none. Yes, we are. Cock silences you all. Now listen, Jack the Red has been eliminated. His eye patch does keep switching sides. The only question is what to do with the traitor. Agent Moose! It's Muertos time. No, it isn't. Our internal investigation revealed that Agent Moose was actually on official assignment. Those orders were a forgery. <gasps> oh, who could forge such a thing? The only people with access to the system are seated at this very table. So the question is, okay. which of you wanted Jack the Red to be Jack the Dead? You. Everyone wanted Jack Dead. It was because he was a douchebag. You ever heard that expression, uh, who shit in your cereal? For me, that answer was Jack. He would literally shit... In my zero in the break room. Oh, fat man's right. He was not nice. Touch me in the crikey. Not nice. <laughs> so, if everyone hated him so much, our office saviors should have no trouble admitting who they are. Someone here is not your friend. Yeah, Kristoff is not my friend. He's a fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, uh, well, I do not know why he's this way. I don't remember anything. After waking up in that hospital? Good, we know, okay? You're the amnesiac assassin, we get it. Nobody gives two albino shits, okay? Uh, People, yeah. this is a serious situation. Mm -hmm. little roosters Sorry if I'm really quiet, I'm just trying to in. soak in as much information as I can. Something no one gets to see. Our power is consolidating, and that is bad. Ten years ago, the world was in chaos. Assassins killing one another. We were on the brink of World 
That's why I created this agency and brought you all together. I restored global balance. Harmony. By threatening the world with a super weapon? That's right. You're welcome. I thought if we all shared responsibility for an awesome power, we'd be more inclined to work together. Yeah. So, yeah, that, I gave that, each actually pretty smart. Useless on their own, but together. Strong. But with the death of Jack, his key has been deactivated. Which means someone in this team is one step closer to harnessing control. The greatest weapon uh, this world oh. has ever known. And the rest of you really standing in his way. In other news, Sorolo will be having his third kids in the air this week, so look out for the Levites! The theme is here in Adwanita. And Agent Bruce has been disavowed. I know Jack's death wasn't your fault, but we can't have you out there killing people willy-nilly. That would be a bit predictable. This is outrageous, eh? Canada's always had a seat at this table. Hold your Molson, young lady. Canada will continue to have a seat here. But we're changing out the old poutine, bringing in the new poutine. It's Agent Knuckle, everyone. <laughs> what the... <laughs> Operations and assassinations will continue. But until we find this a-hole, all of you are on special alert. Even people with strong moral codes and cringing. All right. Big cut. He's out. What? in Texas, some say for the better. Yeah. <laughs> Turn murder into a lemonade. Now he's got a full-time consulting gig, rooting out saboteurs. Hmm. We've already booked him for wedding season. Someone's pitted one rooster against another. I have no reason to think they won't try it again. To be fair, everyone did hate Jack. Oh, as did I. Next he used to shit in my cereal bars. <laughs> like, inside the wrapper before I opened them. I honestly don't know how he did it. <laughs> Goddamn Chris Angel. <laughs> so, if I connect with this Hayward wow. and help you unearth the mole, I'll be reinstated. Reinstated? Promoted? Well, you just might save the world. Hmm. Because Hayward's an elusive character, he'll probably only contact you on his terms. So you need to keep your eyes and ears. He'll probably freak out because you look exactly like the woman who, you know, tried to kill him. And killed everybody else. I won't let you down, sir. We'll see. I'll find you, you little mole bastard. Sorry, not sorry. But sorry. Booster Teeth presents. 
all these people. Yep. <laughs> Wait, that's a Lor Lawrence Simpson? That sounds awfully familiar. The Eleven Little Roosters. Okay, I need to go back and look because... Okay, I, I, I swear I saw Lawrence Simpson. Okay, no, it's Lawrence Sontag. Okay, because if it was Lawrence Simpson, I would have freaked out because that's Moscow X. <laughs> but, um, anyway. Very, very interesting, and... Man, I'm sorry if I was really quiet during that entire recording because I'm just trying to soak in, like, this much information, this much information because it's gotten... Well, well, it has kept its hilarity. It's still... It, but it's gotten much more complicated, you could say. Like, we don't know these people. Like, and, and the last time, we could at least connect with Rooster Teeth because it was them playing them. But here, it's different people, and the only one we're really gonna know is Ryan. And, huh, I'm really wondering how episode two is gonna play out, but who knows? Till next time, guys. See ya.